Everybody no, I go. like it. Do it. Hello, host Eric here. I'm going to interview ENTP Tim. ENTP Tim, how long ago did you graduate yeah. from high school? Uh, 2015. Okay. 2015. Class 2015. In your senior year of high school, would you con would you name yourself popular or medium or not popular? I'd say medium. I knew everybody, but I was a big pothead. Big pothead senior year. I don't smoke anymore at all, but uh, I kind of knew everybody because I was the guy who was smoking all the time. Okay, well, it's good you don't smoke anymore because this stuff will ruin your life. Now, Angie B. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, you said uh, before we started this episode that you tend to get yourself into arguments with people. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about same age peers. Am I correct? You are correct, and also my parents, as I do still live at home, I um, and I didn't use the word argument. I used the word debate. You did. That's a true. A discussion can easily go from a friendly back and forth to a quite one-sided debate where I am on the one side and nobody else knows what's happening so except me. What, what are people likely to say that causes you to say, nuh-uh, and that leads into argumentation? I can't give you any specific examples, but um, I can. I suppose I can try and work it out and out loud. I don't know. All states if are safe. I'm going to pretend okay, my name so. is Don. I'm Don. I'm your 18-year-old friend, Don. I'm a uh, male Don, D-O-N. I'm going to say something dumb. I don't know. I just, I, I like, I like Trump, and I like him mostly because I think it'll keep the most Mexicans out. If you say something to me with no substance, if you just say some claim like that, I will interrogate you. I will say, uh, why, but, but why? Me. Hey, is the wall in it going to keep Mexicans out? Are you, are you disputing that claim? Are you disputing the walls keep people out? I I have personal opinions about that, about that, but yes, I don't know how to answer this question. The answer is yes. So, are you going to vote with for Trump with me? I, if we want to talk politics for just a quick second, I don't like the idea of voting for the lesser of two evils. I know a lot of people who support Hillary. I know more people who support Trump. I don't like Trump's ethic, but I like the way he's a businessman. I hate Hillary for reasons I can't even describe, so maybe she's the best choice. I haven't really looked far into it. I am registered to vote, so I could screw you over. Okay, so, I mean, look, are you going to vote for, do you know who you, who you definitely won't vote for? Can you find any one person you definitely won't vote for? No, I can't. Like I said, can I don't I give you want a position. Hey, NTP Tim, can I, can you, can I find a position that I could state that would make you argue with me? I bet you could. You are a, you're a handful, huh? Okay, let's see. Um, okay, how about this? NTP Tim, you didn't buy that shirt at the store, did you? I told you last time, you have to buy all of your clothes at Yard Sales Mountain. You're wasting your money. This is your friend. I'm your friend, Donald. <laughs> Donald, now. Full, full, full Don to Donald. <laughs> I, uh... Tim, I don't like Donald. This. Listen, I'm giving you instructions. You can call it advice if you want, but I'm telling you, this is the only good way to live. The only good way to live is very simple. No one should ever buy clothes from the store. You should always buy from a thrift store or a yard sale. Why? Why in the world would you only buy stuff from thrift store or yard sale? Sure, the price is low, but why? Just tell en me why. Environment. This is a human environment. This is a but environment. why in the world? environment because we have so many extra shirts that just go throwing away all the time we save the environment by our clothes used okay i'll agree with you the environment and the fact that sweatshops are bad and a lot of nike stuff and all that stuff is made in sweatshops uh what about the environment though well my point is that you're evil i'm evil for buying stuff at corporation companies like yes, uh, h&m you, you bought that shirt there at, at, at a corporation and corporations are evil and you are evil so you make your own. So you make your own shirts. I didn't make this. I bought it at a machine. thrift store. I bought it at a thrift store, so it's already been purchased by an evil person by a corporation. I purchased the non-evil version of it. So are you saying that you, as one person, let's give it a high number. Let's give it a super duper high number. Tiff, uh, Eric, let's give it a super high number. Let's say that you and one hundred thousand other people do that same thing you do. Do you think that that's going to make a difference? Well. 
It may not make a difference to the whole situation, but that one little eight-year-old girl sweatshop worker, it makes a difference to her, Tim. And I care doesn't. about her. It does. Literally, it doesn't make a difference. difference to her. It doesn't make a difference to the world. It doesn't make a difference to her. It makes a difference to her heart. She's still going to make shirts nonetheless, my friend. Even if you and 100,000 people stop buying T-shirts directly from the store, you're still going to buy them from people who give away shirts, who then buy more, who then give them away later. I, okay, but, but, but look, in the middle of all this, uh, all this uh, capitalism of yours, Tim, who, who loses? Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Correct. I agree with you. Okay, so do you agree that Mother Earth is more important than Tim? Yes. That's why you're evil. <laughs> Wait, what, did you, what was the question? How am I evil? Did you say, do I agree that Mother Earth is more important than me, myself, and I? Tim? Yeah. yeah. And you said yes, it, and yet, and yet st- and you did say yes, and that's contradictory to what you do, which is kill her. So that's why you're evil. I am not going to continue this debate because I know that this is a, a setup, but I would d- destroy you if this would keep going. I would really, I couldn't, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop you know, at this point. The thing is, nobody would actually try to count, nobody can successfully defeat you with with bad arguments that they don't know are bad arguments. But it's much trickier if you have somebody intentionally muddying the water with garbage, right? And then yes. shifting ground left and right and paying no attention to the rules of debate, not having any central point that they're trying to actually defend, but just trying to make you look bad in an argument, that's rough. That's a tough one to deal with. But see, I, only I, I, can control each other I, like that, maybe, but you, you should never get trolled like that. I, not that I was doing it there in real. We were just demonstrating, right? But what I'm saying in in real life, uh, I've gotten trolled like that. I've gotten trolled like that once or twice. I even if I even if I realize that it's happening, I mean, if if they want to keep going and it's almost a fun sport at that time, I'll keep going. You gotta Nothing turn, can stop me at that you point. Turn, you got to turn it. You got to be like, oh well. Yeah, me too. I just, you know, like, bring it right back. And then it becomes this, this absurdity contest, right? Yeah, it is. No, you're going to cause six nuclear wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I don't know, dude. Quite interesting shit. Right, Let's do a video wow. on how we use our sewing machines. So Tim, Eric, and me, we'll all get our sewing machines on camera, and we'll see how fast we can. What I do hand. have, I'll, I'll get my, I hand sew. I hand sew right now. When I have holes in my clothes, I sew them up. In fact, I have a pocket that needs to be sewed right now. Let's talk I just sewing buy all the while sew, I'm sewing this up. Singer, so I'll just buy it from the evil corporations. Bam. <laughs> bam, bam, thank you, man. Yes, it is. It is recording right now. 